Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, right, it's Junket July today. Now that's a challenge that Tanya over at Tatty Treasure is running throughout July. Uh, there is a competition and a prize over on her Facebook page, which I've got linked down below. Yeah, if you make four things a week for the four weeks, you can be entered into... Yeah, it's not a fabulous prize, she does say that, but there is a prize, so mm, pop over and have a look. Right, if you've watched me, you'll know I've been, I've made mainly tags so far and journal cards, and I'm not going to do anything different today, because I'm using all mine in my junk mail journal. So, what exactly am I going to do today? Right, I'll show you the junk I've brought first. Uh, cause you just need to make something out of junk. Junk or unused things, things you wouldn't use otherwise. I mean, even some craft supplies, yeah, included in that, aren't they? So I've got this leaflet. Uh, I just love all the flowers on it, so I'm intending to do a little bit of decoupage and punch some shapes out of that. I've got a little tag, a nice little craft tag that came off a top I bought. I've took size off, you really didn't need to know that. A bit of cardboard. I, I'm fancying doing that technique where you rip it down like like this, you know that technique, yeah, where you <laughs> ruin with that technique where you ruin it completely because you rip too much off. That technique, that's the one. But I don't know if I'll get round to that. I might cheat and just do four identical tags. Uh -huh. I've got the backs off a few books and paper pads. I've got my trusty packaging again. And I've grabbed a handful of my Project Life cards that I've been using in my junk mail journal. I think we can class these as junk because I'm not going to use them as Project Life cards, am I? Yeah, they're not. Yeah, and I think you've guessed what I'm going to be decoupaging. I've got some birdies. Yeah, I wanted to pop a bird fussy cut in my journal yesterday, but my fussy cuts were all too large. But this napkin is perfect. And I've been on a hunt for my napkins this week, so I didn't know where I'd put them. Success, I found them. I've got this one. I've used this before. It tends to go lovely with Edith Olden. Uh, it doesn't seem as bright once it's decoupaged. And then I've got this autumnal one. It's not got a white background, so I don't know whether I'm going to use it. I might just do one complete tag with no other embellishments on. Yeah, when the background's not white, it's really hard to just isolate parts of the napkin to use. It doesn't tend to look so good when you've decoupaged it onto something. Right, I'll pop the napkins to one side. To start off with, I'm going to do a little bit of inking and stamping. I've got this. This was what came in my new top. <laughs> it's the bit of cardboard. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to ink it and stamp it. I am. It's shiny, but not too shiny. I think things should stick to it okay. I'm going to be using this matte gel medium, so I shouldn't have a problem, she says. So, firstly, I'm going to start by grabbing one of my huge brushes and I'm going to use whatever inks on it to start off with. Yeah. Oh, look, I like that. Oh, do you know how there are crinkles in this? Because it's not perfect. There's more ink on the crinkles. Oh, I quite like that. It's making me want to put more crinkles in it. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I think there's... I don't think I could replicate the kind of crinkles that are in it, but I might have a good try. I'm going to grab some more. I'm going to use my vintage photo distress ink. When I decoupage, 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 decoupage over this, I'm going to have to be careful as well. But then again, not really. Because this ink will react when you put water on it, but I don't know. It'll still look good. I'm not doing any perfect background in this ink. Oh, I'm really liking how that's going. What a happy accident that was. I'm going to piece of my label back in that I tend to use. I don't like to get my mat. Look, I'll cover my mat with all sorts so I don't get dirty. Who, who'd have thought that? I just love how that's happened. So let's go over the whole piece. I'm not even bothered where I've just splodged down with lots of ink on. Because once that's decoupaged over, it's going to mute it down and it's just going to look good. It's just going to give me this random background I want. Ooh. Have you got these, by the way? 
Don't hold them like that, you're going to snap them. <laughs> Get your finger up here. I can't remember I was watching the other day, I'd snapped one. And I was like, oh no. I learnt that early on, I think. Was it Jennifer Maguire Inc I was watching? Fabulous card making lady. Right. Oh god, you can see my bingo wings wobbling doing this. Oh, lovely night, it's picking up every tiny little wrinkle in this card. Ooh. I think I'm going to wrinkle a piece of card on purpose and try this. Some thinner card. You know, like the. Well, the stuff. The stuff that's not card but not paper. Yeah, you know what I mean. I can't remember old GSMs. My brain's not a computer. <laughs> Far from it. Wee. Oh, I'm so happy with that. I thought this was just going to end up very plain and very matte. Ooh. Interesting. Let's just get this corner. Oh, even on edges, look, we're getting more wrinkles. Oh, who would have thought I would ever be so happy to see this many wrinkles? Well, definitely not when I look in the mirror, that's for sure. But on a piece of card, I can live with it. I'm even now wondering if I even want to stamp on this. Or will this do it? Me like it. Me like it. Yeah, the harder I press down, the more wrinkles I'm finding. <laughs> Ooh, I think that's a bit like that. <laughs> yeah, no, don't even go there. Right, I'm stopping now with that. And I'm going to come in and do my stamping. But I really, really like how that's gone. That, do you know from the back, you can't even... It just looks a little bit, a tiny little bit wobbly. And I thought, that'll still be fine. It's my junk mail journal. The odd crease is expected. But that has surprised me. I like being surprised. You don't find these things out either unless you play. Just play. Have a go at it. It's only paper and ink. I've got a craft land happening now because everything's piled up. Just stay. Just stay, will you? Stay. Right, here's my stamps. I've got a couple of my Tim Holtz text stamps. This is my favourite one, you can tell. I've got the back of it covered in ink and everything. It doesn't live in its packet with all others. So I'm going to either use potting soil or coffee. This is, they're a bit much of a muchness. And I'm just going to do some random stamping. I'm even going to embrace not having it all facing in the right direction, which is something new for me. Da -da, da -da, look at me. It's all going in different directions. This is not normal for me. Not at all. And I'm not re-inking yet. I might not need to re-ink at all. Yeah, I do. Just a little bit. A little tiny bit. Yeah, why don't I just turn paper instead of turning stamp? Didn't think of that at first, did I? Let's get this edge at stamp as well. We've got enough there. I think we've got enough there. I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to put that back in its bubble wrap. <laughs> Don't ask me why I keep it in bubble wrap. I think it was just handy on the desk one day when I thought, eee, that's a bit icky. Make sure you keep your red rubber stamps out of the sun as well. Especially when it's hot like this, or they will dry up and be no good to you. I've done that with stamps before. Really nice stamps as well, and it was really sad. I've inked my fingers as well. I, don't know, I just don't like having my fingers too inky. I then think I'm going to want to work with something white and make a mess of it, I think. I don't know. Right, now is the time to come in with some decoupage. Right, I'm going to use my matte gel medium because that's going to do two things. It's going to help me, na yeah, I'm going to stick my napkin with it. But if I put it in the areas where there isn't any napkin, it'll take the shine off. Yeah. So, where's my broody? Broodies? Broody. Here it is. Right. Do you know, I've not decided if I want to stick these on first or cut them down into the tag shapes to match the birdies. 
don't know. I'm going to have to cut the birdies apart because I don't want all these birdies crowded together. I want one per tag. So let's take scissors to this napkin to start off with. And I'm going to cut it before I take the backing off. I find that far easier. So, ooh, I thought, this is interesting. I thought this napkin, oh, it does. Yeah, no, I thought each section was the same for, but no. Oh, that's interesting. I've got four robins, but then other birds are different. Oh, wow. Really liking that. So I've got more than just the six birds I thought. I have had these napkins. I bought these napkins when I first started doing junk journaling. When I first discovered you could use napkins, I was like, well, hey, let's go on eBay and buy a load of napkins. Some I bought that I still use. These actually, uh, I think Izzy B, Izzy B Craft Creations, who came up with the junk, yeah, that junk journal idea I'm following. She used this napkin. Just going to check I can get these apart and whether it's a two or a three layer napkin. I know there's loads of ways to do it with sellotape and stuff, but I tend to muck that up. I really do. I'm not good with it. I don't think I want to use him, his tails. Oh, I do. Yeah, I can bring him up to edge tag, I suppose. I don't want to reject him just because he's lost a bit of his tail. That would be quite cruel, wouldn't it? I mean, you could get these apart with a water brush. I may rough the edges up like that. But when they're this close together, I can't, I can't do it, me. I can't get them apart with the water brush. I end up ruining some of the birdies. Or whatever they happen to be. So I just prefer to cut them first. And yeah, yeah, twigs a bit near that robin, isn't it? That's going to be a bit of a tough one. Oh, don't chop his little toes off. Oh, there you go, birdie. You're fine. And I've obviously got a lot more on here than I need. So, let's arrange the birdies. I don't like that stripe. I can cope with the birdie's tail being missing, but there's no way I can cope with that stripe. That would really annoy me. We've got to get rid of the stripe. Sorry, little Robin. There we go. Yeah, same with you. Really don't want to cut your feet off, but I will if I have to. <laughs> to be honest, it just looks like he's got an extra toe. <laughs> How many toes has that bird got? As many toes as it wants to have. All inclusive crafting. Tailless birds and <laughs> multi toed birds. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of this stripe round this napkin. Why did I never notice it were there before? Maybe the napkin I use were different. I did use one of these because I made some tags that ended up in my shop quite recently, actually. Right, yeah. That's got rid of the striped little blue tit. Speaking to inanimate objects is a sign of madness. I'm quite clearly mad. Ooh. Yep, the weather warmed back up a bit here today. We had a lovely cool day. We had a stormy day and then the day after was cooler. We were like 24 degrees and it's gone right back up to 28 today. But we are forecast some more storms at weekend. But the cool day yesterday really allowed me to get my house cool and keep it cool. So even though it's been that warm outside, it's not been that warm inside. Right, let's space these birdies out. They are so cute. How cute are they? Right, let's take the backing off. I sometimes come in with my tweezers to help me get back off when I've already cut them apart like this. But can I even find my pointy tweezers? Probably not. I'm really good at losing stuff. 
That's one little birdie. Right, this might be quite boring for you watching me do all these. You know exactly how I'm doing it. And I started this video without a cup of tea. I've got no cup of tea. So I will magically reappear with all the backing off my birdies and a cup of tea at the side of me. I'm rehydrated and magically the birdies have no backing. So right, I'm now going to grab my matte gel medium. And this decoupage technique I use, I learnt from Fiona, who is Miss Paint a lot. I used to struggle with decoupage, I didn't like doing decoupage, decoupage was not my favourite thing to do but since learning this technique it's fabulous, yeah? Start with a damp brush, I have got the Tim Holtz collage brushes, you don't have to have that, any brush will do and what Fiona does is she doesn't put anything down before she puts the napkin on so I'm just going to move some of these out it way, I'll start one at a time yeah, I'm going to start with this little birdie here, this one in the corner yeah, so place him where you want him. <clears throat> I've got what I use as my little temporary palette now here. Let's get some matte medium on top. So I can keep dipping in. And start in the middle of your image. Make sure you've got your brush while it's damp, but make sure you've got plenty on. And don't keep going back over the same area too often. Start in the centre and work outwards. And I've not had any trouble with this technique. The only time I've had trouble is when I've not followed the rules and I've kept going back over at the same place, which is my own daft fault, isn't it? I'm finding though in this electric light it's hard to see when I've done it. So I am probably going to keep going over at the same place. Aha. Uh -huh. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to go around the bird area with my matte medium just to take the shine off. Yeah, so there we have one little birdie. Yeah, it's took some of the ink off. I can live with that. I'll just put some more ink on top. If I'd done that with a waterproof ink, but to be honest, I couldn't read small writing on my inks to, and I can never remember which is waterproof. I've got a feeling that that is. If I'd have done it with the same ink I've stamped with, I'd have got a much better effect. Yeah, I'm really not too happy about that. Do you know what? I'm not going to make these into journal cards. I don't. I really don't like that. I've ruined it. I really have. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to carry on and decoupage the birdies. But when I've decoupaged them, I'm going to fussy cut them. Yeah? And then I can pop them over a different tag, can't I? More matte medium required. Yeah. It weren't looking too bad till I... Uh, put some matte medium on rest. Look, you can see every stroke with the matte medium out onto the ink is just running it. I knew it was going to happen but I did not realise it would be this bad. But we've learnt something new there, haven't we? I'm now wishing, because I like this so much, I'm going to keep the top half, yeah? And I'll use it differently. But I'm still going to put my birdies on this bottom half. I'm just going to put them a, a lot closer than I would have. Because I'm now going to fussy cut the little chickadees. Because it's still looking fine around the birdies. And you can still see the writing through. So it's not a waste of time decoupaging. Even under the bird itself you can see the stamping. Which is the effect we wanted. So that's three little birds. Let's put you there, Mr. Blue Tit. I've got all quiet. I tend to go quiet when I'm concentrating, don't I? Right, that's Mr. Blue Tit. We've got two more. I think we'll have you there. Yep. Then I can, I'll get on with something else while these dry rather than coming with heat gun because it is still quite warm and by the time I've done the next thing 
I may be able to come back to this and I'll have minimum drying to do with the heat gun, if any at all. And we'll put you there, Mr. Robin. There you go, mate. Don't worry about your tail. We love you. <laughs> I'm pleased to report that my little kitty cat, Phoebe, has learned how to deal with the new uh, mosquito net that we've got. Yeah, she, she handles it like a trooper, literally. She hands, handles it like she's doing an army assault course. She gets low to the ground and she gets her nose under it and slides under. So, yeah, well done, Phoebe. I quite like that. I really do. Just wish I'd used a different ink. But, hey-ho, you live and learn. I'll probably spray that with something. Oh, I'm going to put that on my windowsill to dry. Right, I've got plenty of... Uh, that medium out now so I'm gonna get this leaflet because what I want to do with this leaflet is yeah I'm gonna stick it to a bit of card and then I'm gonna punch out butterflies I've got my butterfly punches at the ready so grab some card I did get some old bent card out where's it gone where have you gone old bent card I'll oh, grab another piece I've not got a shortage of old bent card. Gotcha, old bent card. Here we go. So, I'm going to cut out. There's no point gluing down all these bits I'm not going to use. So, I'm going to cut out the bits I do want. I'm not going to bother snipping all those off. Life is too short. Oh, <laughs> I nearly ripped that one. And then I want this one. And I'll save that for another time. So I'm just basically going to decoupage these two colourful bits to this card. And then when that's dried, I'm going to cut it out for butterflies. So I'm going to use my matte medium again because it's here. And when I used it in last week's video, I was a bit upset thinking it was very crinkly at first. But it dried absolutely lovely, didn't it? So I could live with it. Don't matter that's upside down because I'm just going to fussy cut. Yeah, I've waited again. It's not as late as it was when I filmed my video the last few days. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's uh, just coming up to half past eight. So it's getting dark outside. But it's cool enough to have the window open and I've got my fan on. Right, so that's those two decoupaged. We shall leave those to dry. Lots of leaving things to dry today, isn't there? If it's not dry by the time I want to use them, I'll just pause and then come back. Right, so I'll put that to dry with the birdies. I'll move this because it's now inky and gluey. I'm just going to put my... glue brush in a wet paper towel. That'll keep it okay for a while. Right, put that out of the way. I don't know if I'm going to need that again yet or not. So, here's the other things. Oh, I've now got glue all over me. Get another paper towel. Disaster city. Well, let's grab these Project Life cards back that I got out. I suppose we could fussy cut birdies and put them in here, couldn't we? I'd, I'd toyed with that idea, but then I wanted to make the tags with that other. So really, in a way, I'm going back to plan A. So we can have a birdie on there. I don't want a birdie with the butterfly. But I can put a birdie on that side. We've got some smaller ones. Oh, I think one would look good on the text. And what's that? Oh, yeah. And on the green. Oh, then I've got my tag. Got my tag. So, 
What else did I get out for today? I've got the... It's just dawned on me. That's what I was going to... That's why I couldn't find my old crinkly card. I'd got these instead. The backing off the pad and the puzzle book. What am I like? Right, I want to put some bits of doily on under these birds now. I've got these edges that I cut off. That big doily I got from Fiona. No, I didn't get it from Fiona. I got it from Deborah. Let's see if these are any good. No, not for this. I think I want some full round doilies. And I may want some coloured ones. Oh yes, I've got that. Some of those gorgeous green ones. They're going to go lovely with it. So I'm just going to do the bird, a bit of doily and a bit of washi tape. And then the fussy cut birds will go on top. Oh, I do love these green doilies. I really do. Yeah. Bird, doily, washi tape, maybe a label. Then I'll be happy. Same with that one. I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges. Hmm. There you go. I already like add an ink to look to it, so I like that. Oh, are we going to put the bird on that side or other? I don't know. We shall see, we shall see. Oh, it's this one where I wanted to go on the red side, isn't it? I like how it looks as though it's got staples in it. And we've got this one that looks like ledger, but I don't know which side to put the birdie on. I think I'm going to go this side. I think that large bird will look good on here. Right. So that way, that way, that way. I did like that green though. You can still write on there. I might still go for the green on that, you know, I don't know. But right, I'm going to... I think I'm going to start by cutting this dial into quarters. Yeah, they don't have to be equal perfect quarters. Because I know I just want doily at bottom corner. And I can get some bigger bits there for the bigger ones. And a smaller bit for the smaller ones. I'm in shot, yeah. Right. Yeah, I just want that over corner. So I'll glue that on and when it's stuck I can trim the edge a little bit more and get the edge re-rounded. Yeah, I do like that. I'm not going to ink the edge of the doiler. Inking edge of doilers is not fun, is it? And I'm going to grab my glue stick, see what consistency it's like today. It looks fine. I should be able to use that. Grab glue book, book number 106. <laughs> I've got so many of these little puzzle books, it's untrue. Whee. Oh, I have missed doing proper crafting, I tell you. I don't feel like I've done proper crafting since it got hot. I've done quick quick videos I've tried to think of videos that don't need glue don't need heat guns yeah <laughs> and they're gonna be very quick now I'm gonna use some of these backs of my napkins to smooth that down all right so that's doily on one bring another in yeah I think I need to use that green side I just love those two colors together so let's get doily on this one Should we do it on a different corner? Yeah. Let's do one on a different. Two on the left, two on the right. See, there is an advantage in not tidying your desk. Had I been tidy and put these in bin, I just wouldn't have had them here for this. Because if you can tell, I'm now doing something completely different to what I were going to do because of how that uh, paper went. But hey ho. I toyed with the idea of just decoupaging straight onto these but I wanted to use up some of that card it only came today that card and I thought oh I've got to use that 
because if I don't use it today it'll end up in recycling and I won't use it at all because it was such a plain boring piece of card but as it turned out not so plain and boring we'll put that one on that side there we go We've got a Marvel Marathon tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> My kids have got into the uh, Marvel Universe films. I'm not really up on them. I'm not. <clears throat> I'm a bit like, if I don't see something from the beginning, I can't watch it. I can't watch anything unless I've seen it right from the beginning. And Marvel, I was too busy bringing up my kids when Marvel films came out. So, there's <laughs> so many of them. It's like, well, that's just a daunting task watching that lot, isn't it? But kids are ploughing the way through them and enjoying them. So I've, I'm tasked with watching one tomorrow night. We normally just watch a film on a Friday. It's my turn to choose tomorrow and I've no idea how I've managed to choose. Is it Infinity War? Marvel Infinity Wars we're watching. I'm not quite sure. Some of you might know, some of you might not. I have... I have um, yeah, I have uh, developed a little bit of a fondness for Groot. Yeah, and now I earn two Groot plant pots and a, two Groot key rings. Yeah, because kids like Groot. If you don't know who Groot is, just Google I am Groot. You'll find out who Groot is. It's very cute. I'm trying to stick that down, but there's no corner to stick it to. So that didn't work too well. Right, I've now got four cards with a doilid corner. I quite like them. Oh, yeah. Right, put that to one side. Let's see how the birdies are drying, shall we? Oh, wow. They are almost dry. And it's not been that long. Dare I fussy cut one? Dare I indeed, without blasting it? I think I need to blast it with my heat gun first. So, I'm not even going to put it on a desk. I'm just going to do it in midair. Tell you what, put lid on your glue first. Look at all bits of doily stuck now to my glue. I shouldn't need too much of a blast. Do you know now it's dried? The areas where it looked a bit awful don't look so bad now. But I'm still glad I've put them together for fussy cutting. I still think fussy cutting is now the way to go. I'm not going to do a majorly perfect fussy cut either. I might show you my fussy cut one and then I'll pause for the rest. Hmm. I'm beginning to wonder if any of these birds are big enough for these large, large cards now. Right, I'm much happier about fussy cutting those. That's just about dry. I've got my favourite fussy cutting scissors, which are my... These are the five inch Tim Holtz? No, they call them seven inch. They measure it from there to there, don't they? Even though it blades. Bad. Baffling, baffling. Right. Let's cut you out first, mate. Sorry, I got a bit in the camera then. Right. Let's do a bit of fussy cutting. I was watching Miss E at scrapbooking with me today. They've got a giveaway going on over there, by the way. A fabulous giveaway for 70k subscribers. And someone who has a brother scan and cut had sent her loads of stuff that had been fussy cut out. I wish. Well, you think I'm going to say I wish I got a brother scan and cut? I've got one. I wish I could use it properly. Well, I can use it properly, but I don't have the patience. The only problem I find with my brother's scan and cut is it needs calibrating every time I move it and I can't keep it out all the time because I don't have room so I just lose patience with it. But what I really need to do is get it out and spend a full day scanning and cutting. That really would be worth my time now. I use more fussy cut images now than I ever have before. But it's very frustrating if an image won't scan properly as well. But yeah, I might, I might give that a whirl. And it'd be like fussy cut images galore. 
fussy cuts coming out of me. Right, there we go. We've got one fussy cut bird. I do like him. And I don't know if you can even pick it up on camera, but you can see the writing underneath him. So it was still worth doing that. And I'm going to keep these bits. I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet, but I might find something. You see the writing through better on the paler birds like this blue tip. I think this one, is this one a bullfinch? These are the more common British garden birds. So I can actually recognise the odd one. Really bad. I've got my mum's bird spotting guide as well. That will not be getting cut up and put in journals. <laughs> but where I live now we get a lot more birds than I've, I've got anywhere I've ever lived. And... The best one I've ever seen was a jay. It was gorgeous. Oh, don't take his little toesies off. There we go. That's two. I'm going to pop them to one side. And yeah, I don't think, I think those cards are still far too big for the birdies. But that one, oh, look at him on there. Oh, I like you, but I don't like you on that card. I think that card may need the little robin, little robin redbreast. Me. I've got it right up in camera, sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Whee. Yeah. I, I used to be far too perfect as well with my foot, fussy cutting. I want to call it footy cutting. There's not footy about it. Footy. Don't do footy. <laughs> I think you heard enough about that when that European cut were on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Football. My kids, actually it were Becca because Rachel didn't go to school on the last day. She came home from school disgusted. They'd had a sports quiz. We don't watch much sport. We really don't. Oh, I like Mr. Robin on there. I like him there. Yeah. And she got an answer right that everyone else got wrong. They wanted to know title at tournament, football tournament that had just been on. And they all got it wrong. They thought it was Euro 2021 and it wasn't. Because it should have happened in 2020, they'd still called the tournament Euro 20. And Becca had picked that up on a news feed, not by watching it. And even her friends were absolutely gobsmacked that she got that wrong. I think Greenfinch there, wasn't it? Yeah. Mr. Robin Redbreast there. Oh, yeah, I really like them. So I'm going to stick these on with a bit of art glitter. Oops, pin bauble came off my glue. Do you know, it's been a bit of a comedy of errors, this video. Well, it ain't really. Things ain't gone right, so you have to adapt when stuff don't go right, don't you? Can't get my pin out now. I'm going to need pliers. Oh, it just came out. It will probably have stuck in there because it's not been getting much use. Right, let's glue you up. Oh, come on, come out. Come out, come out wherever you are. Grab another pin and clear it up. Yeah, I think that pin had well and truly stuck itself in there. This is my new art glitter, by the way. So. I don't know what the problem is. I'm going to need to get some glue tips off you US ladies and Australian ladies who are used to this heat all year round. Well, it's yeah, you know what I mean. I'm not saying you all live in baking deserts 12 months a year, but you have like, proper summers, don't you? We've well, not really had proper summers in this country for, since I was little. I don't know what's occurring. This heat is unprecedented. 
Right, let's put you on there, Mr Goldfinch, if that's what you are indeed. I'm guessing you are. I quite like you on there. Just on that green wood grain background. Oh, you are lovely. Let's get you a little label. I've just seen one inside of this that I might like. There we are. Yeah, I like that label. Let's ink the edges. We'll stick you on too. I've just nearly dripped blue onto my, I don't know what it were, Red Bull. Red Bull? <laughs> Red Bull, yeah. That's a bird named a Red Bull. I think I need a Red Bull to wake my brain up. There we go. Oh, I like him. I really do. He's pretty. And I'm going to pop a tab on the top. We're going for craft tabs on this one. Yeah, this... I know a lot of you have clicked through to my Amazon storefront and purchased... To look at this and purchase it. Right. The one I've got linked in my Amazon is the one with the large tab. I cannot find the set with the small one at the minute. I don't know... If anyone has got it in stock, I can't even. If you want to find out what it is, go over to Elizabeth. Just type in Elizabeth Craft Designs. You can find their website and it shows you their full range of what they do. So, yeah. It's a bit annoying that, isn't it? Right, so that's got a little tab on. Let's stick Mr. Robin Redbreast down. I think Mr. Robin Redbreast cards are looking a bit white and stark. So I'm just going to dull it down a little bit. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? You like that better now, don't you, mate? Yes, he said. If you didn't hear that, he's only small. So his voice is quite low-pitched and squeaky. I want him sat on there. Let's be a bit higher, make it look like you actually belong on card. I want his tail to disappear off card, you see. It's not right at the edge, but we could always trim card down, couldn't we? We could actually. That is a point. I could trim the card. I could have put him further over and trimmed the card. It's another dancing day. And we want to tag on you. And I'm quite liking these red ones, but that look at that. That's far too big for such a little bird. Admit one. Admit one, Robin. That's too pink. Yeah, I seem to be using a lot of red tags lately. Tabs, so I need to print out and cut out more red. Oh, I quite like that one with the green and the red. Yes. I'll grab this other one out while I'm in here and I've found more red ones. Because there's no doubt I'm going to want red on the others. I like that one though with Mr. Robin. Or oh, do I like that one better? I think that clashes with his belly. <laughs> I like the green edged one better. So I'll just snip that bit off that I've not done. And ink the edges. I'm using art glitter now, I've got it clear and working. I am. And it looks like it's perched on the doily and the label. And we've got that straight. I like that. Sweet. Another little tab. Oh, I can't seem to be able to find big ones. Maybe need another tab cutting session. Looks like I'm going to have a cutting session, die cuts and machines. Wee. Yeah, my my scan and like so my scan and cut's not brilliant. It really it's one of the really early ones. It's not Wi-Fi. I have to mess about using a USB thing. Yeah, I don't know what it's called storage device. You know what they're called? I've no idea what they're called. My brain's gone to sleep. Yeah. 
Oh, I think they're cute. Very cute. Right, let's see how these are drying. Oh, wow, they seem to have dried pretty good. Pretty good, then. I'm just going to give them one extremely quick blast with the heat gum. And it's looking like the other two cards may end up being littered with butterflies instead of having a bird on. Because they're far too big for those little birdies. Yeah, I don't even think they need that blast. We'll see now if they cut okay with the punches. So let's do a smidgeroonie of tidying. Make it look like we know what we're doing. Of course we do, don't we? Yeah. Not done out with that yet. I seem to have uh, transitioned over to Project Life cards. Right. I'm going to cut close to the edge so I can get the punches in better. about you but I get quite a lot of leaflets like this through letterbox I've never lived in a house where I've got so much so many leaflets to try and sell me still it's because my neighbours are all a bit posher than I am <laughs> now I've mentioned before I live in one of the affordable houses on a quite nice housing estate yeah and mine's rented by I rent mine from a housing association so yeah Oh, how the other half live, eh? Right, Bun butterfly punches. I've got me stamping up ones out. I'm going to try this big one first. I just really want to get a butterfly punch out of here. I'm doing it upside down because I really, I sometimes think it makes a difference. Oh, wow, look at that. I love it. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm not going to put that one there. I don't want to waste too much. I'm going to do a little one now, nestled next to that. Oh yes, they've come out, they've, yeah, they've come out really nice, I like them. Look, I'm being very frugal, I want to, <laughs> I want to use every scrap of this. Oh wow, loving it. Now this is all orange at this side, but I need to make sure I'm not going to get that sticker in this time. So I'm going to do it at front. Yeah, if I'd have started trying to flame, frame the flowers on the front, they wouldn't have come out looking any better than that. I think I need some other size ones now. Let's get me other butterfly punches. I've got my little X cut ones. Oh, where did that go? I've no idea what happened to that. It's just shot off somewhere into great unknown. I had it something over on the left. I'll just punch another one. That were mad. Absolutely mad. Yeah, I like these punches, but they can be a bit vicious. I'm going to do it low to desk this time. There we go. You didn't fly off. I would have thunk it. Butterflies flying away. Never been heard of before. There we go. Let's try a couple of teeny weeny weeny ones. What's that? Yeah, it's there. <laughs> I could get a couple of teeny weeny weeny ones out of this gap down here. I am so frugal sometimes. And then at others I'm so wasteful. Such a contradiction. Right, see what we've got. I'm going to bring one of these over. I just want to see these on this card. I think they're going to look so cute. Oh, wowzer. I like it. But then it's like, how many butterflies can you fit on one card? That might be a bit many. Oh, that is so cute. But that needs washi tape. I didn't put any on others in the end, I just use labels. Right, let me trim this edge now. Oh, I still need to trim the corner on the others. I'm just going to follow this one round with scissors. 
There we go. I'm going to go grab my favourite box of washi tapes of the moment. I think I might want some flowers. I think we gathered this yesterday and then I changed my mind. I took three days to decide which flowers I wanted to put on. Something like that, wasn't it? I seem to have a particular roll of washi tape in mind and it's not in that box. Is it there? Here it is. Yay! That one, and then that one. I think they were the ones. I need to reorganise how I store my washi tape now because I've got too much washi tape to keep it all in one place and it's a bit of a nightmare. I did used to keep it to one box. Yeah, they're all my... Yeah. And now it's spread out over three different boxes and it's a bit... Mm, yeah. A bit unsustainable as it is. I really like that. Let's have butterfly and dragonfly. And then we want butterflies flying off. I think this needs some text stamping on it. Do I want the big little ones at the top or the big ones? Little. Yeah. And I want a text, some text stamping. That'll finish it off nicely. I'm going to get my smaller text stamp out this time. I'm still using the first one I grabbed basically, my potting soil. This, this text does go all over the place anyway. I think that's enough. Don't overdo it. And then I'm going to stick these flutterbys on. I'm now feeling this needs a flower on it somehow, somewhere. It really needs a flower. Could put a dangly flower charm on at some point. I just want these butterflies looking like they're all flying off in a little row. There's a teeny one. He's a bit dark. I think I'm going to pick him with a little bit more yellow on his wing. <laughs> I just flicked washi tape. I just flicked it out. It's gone. There we go. This one's going to have a big tab on it. Then let's see if it needs anything else. It might be okay. That bit just seems a bit plain, but I like it. I just like how you can see the ledger. I'm leaving it as it is. That's done. It's done. It's finished. I like it. Right, let's get the other one. Oh, butterfly on the back of that one. Could we combine butterflies and birds, do you reckon? I think we could. I need to cut some off bottom. Couldn't see that, it looked the same colour. Right. Ink that one a bit. I don't think I did that with others. 
That's got the daily edge. I quite like that now. It's grown on me. It's like, where's my other birdies? Yeah, I want to put this long birdie on a stalk on here. Craft lunch time, it's all coming piling in. A long bird on a stalk, yeah. On a branch. That's what it is, Julie. It's a branch, not a stalk. A stalk is a bird, but this bird is not a stalk. Yeah, I think this one will go nice on here. Oh, so quiet. I've now got that Bjork song in my head. It's so, so quiet. And then it goes really loud. I used to play that to get my kids out of bed when they didn't want to get out of bed. And they're like, oh, I like this. Oh, I've said it, sorry. Stop. Oh, I'm so sad. There's been a new development in the world of smart speakers. Something unheard of is happening. The different manufacturers are all getting together. And they're, oh, they're developing a new operating system for them. And Amazon is not going to be updating Gertrude. Gertrude is going to be left out. She's not going to be in the loop, <laughs> literally. Gertrude will be out of the loop. So yeah, their first generation Echo Dots are not going to be updated to work with the new system that is apparently coming later this year. So yeah, I don't want to say rip Gertrude, but I think I might just get Gertrude a, a big sister for craft room, yeah. I just love her too much. I hope she'll still work. I really do. She holds a special place in my heart, does our Gert. Wee. Right, yes. Oh, yes. He's perfect, isn't he? His little twig's going to start there next to Doily. Oh, look at him. I'm just going to... Because he's wanting to curl up, because he's been decoupaged, I'm just, just curling him back round, because I don't want him curling off the tag altogether at some point. Oh, he's lovely. I like him. Let's glue him if I change my mind. Whee. So it's been a bit of a different junket July, this one, hasn't it? I've not. Yeah, I didn't really. I could have gone and done a load of different pieces, but I wanted them all for one project again. And what my project was lacking was some journal cards with birds and butterflies. So this is what we've done. Oh, I like it. Let's have you on a... We need you on an angle, don't we? That is not growing straight up. Looking, You looked a little bit stiff, didn't you? Having that straight up, Mr Birdie. That's much better. <laughs> Gentle patting than just a swat. Go on, stick. Oh, oh. Your mates are on the floor now. Yeah, it's like comedy crafting this today. We all stuff I've dropped on the floor. Got butterflies flying everywhere. Oh, I really like that one. That is so nice. Right, grab a label. I know I've got a lot out ready, but I think I've lost them. Are you surprised? If you know me, you shouldn't be. Far too big. Far too pink. I don't think I'm ever going to put that on one. And the one I did want, I think, somehow has got stuck at desk. I've no idea how that happened. Oh yeah, I had a drip of glue, didn't I? So that's, that's a little cluster now. We've got two tickets and a tab. Yeah, join me. I'll be making those again. No, I won't. Right. That's my ticket. That, that looks too pink now on there. I need one with green on. Definitely, because that's got red all the way around. It just doesn't look good, does it? I don't want to use brown. I've gone off brown again at minute. I'm on greens and reds. Ooh. Is that too? That's too green. I want green, but not too green. Ooh. 
that one might look okay. I think I might quite like that. But then I want another ticket over it. What about blue? Yeah, I'm doing that. Don't change your mind, you like it. Do it before you change your mind. I have to do that sometimes or I will talk myself out of it. So that's one ticket. Just gonna quickly ink the edges of this one if my inker has not disappeared into the ether. There we go. Whee. Upside down, we don't want you upside down. Cover that up, oh, I like that. And I'll put a big tab on you mate and then you're done and dusted. I told you at the beginning I might cheat on this one and just make four things same and call it four. And guess what I've done? I've made four very similar things and I'm calling that my four. I shall also maybe title this video Ramblings of a Rusty Crafter. Oh, Rusty Ramblings from Rotherham, where is, which is where I actually live. Even though my address says I live Sheffield, I don't. I actually live in Rotherham. <coughs> Rusty Ramblings from Rotherham. Hmm, quite like that. Right, let's bring all four back in. So we end up with three birds and one butterfly. We did need some butterflies. I pop that out of the way. Grab the two little ones. Come on, mate, let's have you. Don't get shy. We need you back in the limelight. I haven't lost them, really. How do I do it? Here we are. <laughs> oh, word. Oh, my word. Yeah. Before long, it's going to just turn into an episode of, is there a craft orders in the US? Craft orders. I'm really liking. I think I need to put them that way around. Birds and butterflies, can you see them? I'm pretty happy with those, yeah. They were, they were <laughs> I did quite a bit of faffing in the making of them. And I know you can't see. I'll try and take a photo that allows you to see that we've got text behind the birds because otherwise I might have well have just done it onto a piece of blank card and this you will see oh hello mister so what are you doing stuck to that you'll see that coming up in another project probably in my junk mail journal on Tuesday so thank you very much for bearing with me through all of that I hope you've learnt something I hope you've had a laugh and I will see you next time. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye.